Laura Vitali. On this episode of Learning the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make my tropical fruit salad. Now, I mentioned the salad when I made my berry delicious fruit salad, and just like I said, if I was going to find the ingredients in my supermarket to make it, I would make it. So I found them and I'm making it. Okay, this is super simple to make. You're going to need just a few fresh ingredients and then you're pretty much done. You're going to need some fresh mango, kiwi, pineapple, watermelon, some sugar, and lime. That's it. It's as easy as that. Now, I do want to tell you this. Now, this salad, for me, when I make it, I love to put in some fresh mint. I think it's what gives that delicious sort of um, very tropical kind of taste with the lime and the mint, but it's very difficult for me to find in my local supermarket. So, if you can find fresh mint, add it to this fruit salad. It's delicious. Okay, now, I have pretty much everything cut up, but I do want to show you just a few things. With my mango, if you watch my mango sorbet video, then you can see how I cut my mango. You can cut it off, you know, cut off the cheeks, so it's called. And then you can either peel it, like I do in my mango sorbet video, or you can do this. And you're going to need a very sharp paring knife with this, which is why I'm using my washed off, my washed off classic knife. It's a little sharp paring knife like so. It's perfect for this. Now, you want to make sure you don't go all the way through, otherwise you'll, you know, you have a mess in your hand. Well, not a mess, but it won't work as well. You make little scoring marks like that. You go one way and then you go across. Be very gentle because this knife is very, very sharp. And then you're going to just take it and flip it like so. And this way, you've kind of done two things at once. See that? You cut it off the peel and you have perfect little cubes. And you can just cut them right into your bowl. Now, I do have some kiwi fruit already peeled here, but I did want to show you how to peel one. And you can do this with a vegetable peeler, or you can do it like I do it, which is by using a really sharp little, little knife like so. Cut both feet off. And then, just like I did with my pineapple and my pineapple upside down cake, we are going to just cut it right off. And you see how, how little you take off? You don't take any of the flesh off, really just the skin and you get that by using a really sharp little knife so just go all around just gonna cut my kiwi up and you can cut them as big or as little as you want i like to do bite-sized pieces about the same size as everything else because i just prefer to have you know everything the same size so you get a full a nice full bite so i'm just gonna go ahead and cut all my kiwi up i'm just going to add these directly to my big bowl now, if I could find different fruits in my supermarket, I would use things like papaya, dragon fruit, maybe a cactus pear, you know, anything exotic, anything that you don't, I mean, you can put any fruit in here you want. But, you know, I like to kind of uh, have dinners once in a while where it's a little bit more tropical, where I make a little something different for dinner. And therefore, I try to use ingredients that I don't normally use on an everyday basis, which is something like kiwi fruit and mangoes and things like that. So I'm just adding all of my fruit to a big bowl. And I know watermelon is not exactly tropical, but it needed some color, and I have been completely obsessed with watermelon this summer, so it's going in. All I'm gonna do is grate a great the zest of a small lemon, a small lime. I keep getting tongue twisted today, I don't know why. I'm just gonna grate it right in. Now I'm just gonna slice this in half. This knife is so sharp, it's unbelievable. Now I'm just going to squeeze the juice of it. I'm not going to do the whole thing. Now, depending on how sweet your fruit is, then, you know, you can judge how much sugar you want to put in there. You know, how sweet do you want it? So, my fruit is pretty sweet since it's all in season. So, I'm pretty much adding just about a tablespoon or so. And now I'm just going to mix the whole thing together. And this is pretty much done. It's super simple to make. It's incredibly refreshing. It takes minutes and it's just so delicious. And if I had some mango sorbet left over, I would definitely serve this over the mango sorbet and it would be such a hit. But for now, I'm just going to give it a little bite. I definitely want some watermelon. Well, I'll do the mango first. Right on. It's so fresh. It's like I can't really describe it. That lime, all the difference in the world. Delicious. I hope you guys have enjoyed spending time with me. To get this super simple and easy recipe and others, go to my website at www.laurenandkitchen.com and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.